Hello fans of Marvel Heroes and friends of my channel, my name is Wilfred and today let's talk about the new boost that just get released in this patch 2.03 of this game Marvel Heroes. Now in the past, for those of you who are familiar with boost, you could purchase or play in a game or some lock-in bonus and so on. Uh, got all these various kind of boosts that boost your experience and boost your whatnot and whatnot. So there are many many different types of boosts that occupy your inventory and for you to think about how to stack everything up. Gazillia has uh, done away with all these things and give you four different type of boosts that streamline the whole kind of like experience. So what are they? Uh, you could use a boost to increase your XP gain or you can use it to increase the currency gain, uh, be as the credit or danger room merit or the OD mark as well as the shield supply boost is very much like a combination of the rare item find and the um, special item find car boost last time in the past uh, into something that you can visually see what happened I'll show you in just a bit last but not the least there's a combination boost that is basically a combination of all three of types of that so every boost that you have now becomes streamlined into these four items here now how do you see supply boost if you move the mouse over to your XP bar and you just click right click it then you can see a supply points here as you defeat the game, uh, uh, villains and so on, you can gain all the supply points. Once you reach the end, there will be a loot explosion. You could even get a hero or a costume. So they would like you to at least visually see what happened when you spend money because they want you to get your money worth in a sense. So that's one thing they have changed to it. Now, um, also another change is that in the past, uh, if you play, use some of these boosts, you know that there's a diminishing return. Meaning that the higher the buff it is, the less you get from the money that you spend. Uh, of course, it shortens your duration. I mean, of your whole uh, progress become faster, but uh, you use a lot more money to, to achieve that. So right now, if you look at the, uh, the new boost itself, it's actually a lean, uh, some of them are quite very, very good to, to get a high stack. So for example, if you get, uh, say, three stack, you get 180%. Uh, five stack is 20%. But duration increase as well so from my guildies and you know please validate against it as well is that the more stack you have the higher the duration so instead of 30 minutes on one buff which is 100 percent you may get up to two and a half hours for 200 percent for the whole duration it is a lot of course a lot more worth it to get the highest stat um, highest buff to 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 give you the best value for return and the same as for the say currency as well um if you know, if you can get five stacks, you get five OD mark every villain that you, every boss that you defeat, and the duration get increased accordingly as well uh, to two and two and a half hours. So it's definitely, definitely worth it. Same as for the supply boost as well, because if you're going to play the game anyway, and if you're willing to pay, then why not get five times the uh, faster or whatever boost that you have will give you five times faster the explosion itself. So that's the whole idea of the new boost. Uh, not only does it change the whole entire structure of it, meaning that the diminishing return, now it's even worth it to stack. So you are encouraged to stack as much as possible. Now, next question is that uh, what, how much does it cost really to, to, to pay, uh, play this game if I, if I say money is not an issue, right? So let's take a look at that. So now, right now the boost, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the, the boost here. All right, assuming that there's no GS discount and so on, um, a supply boost, which is probably the most popular one, give you a lot of like uh, rare items if you once you get the end of it, it's about 125 uh, for half an hour. Or if you pay five of them, which is uh, about six dollar ish for two and a half hours. So six dollar ish for two and a half hour. Is it a lot or not? I don't know. I mean, you no. Know, you can. Some like to argue the fact that you pay for a ticket, movie, movie ticket, uh, for that two two hours or one and a half hours of entertainment, uh, versus you know some of these things that you play and you can't enjoy. So this is really a personal decision. It's not something that I could advise whether you should get or should not get. I personally would not, but you know that's just my take of it. Or you can say that uh, well, the experience is a little bit, you know, doesn't really get a lot of XP and so on. Then like uh, you could spend like uh, five dollar um, for two and a half hours so for each two and a half hour is five dollar you spend and the uh and, and just get the you know get get the 200 percent uh, also pretty decent uh it kind of like you know get you a lot 
triple whatever XP progress you can get. If if right now you spend like uh, maybe one evening, which is two and a half, two and a half hours to sort of gain an infinity point depending on where you are in your diminishing return card curve then you say wow you know if i can get three uh three infinity point why not so that's one of the thinking behind it and last but not the least for those who find that you know farming odimar is very boring because legendary quest is very boring and they say that well can i just play the game like i want well gazillion say yes you can but you have to pay for it so that is one one way to get it or you say that well i'm insanely rich and i say 200 two dollar and 75 cent for half an hour boost uh, combination if if i could get five of them um that is like maybe 10 more than 10 dollar whatever it is i would my my oh my kind of like maybe less than a bit less than 15 dollars uh then you say well you know you know you, you could get uh, that car boost as well uh depending on how much money you say if you say one evening i spend 15 dollars or ish uh for the game and i find that it's worth it because i get a lot more out from the game then yeah i mean that is probably something that you could think about as well so um as always, of course, you know, buying this boost here on itself is going to be the least uh, desired because the best, if you use a lot of this boost, the best, of course, is going through the currency, I mean, so bundle. I'm not going to go too deep into the bundle because I, you know, because I'm not going to buy it anyway. So, but I think you can do the mathematics behind and say, is it worth it to get 10 of this for like 10, you know, $10 or whatever it is uh, versus individually. So I think all these are, of course, more worth it if you buy uh, like a like a like a big pack. Uh, some of this, like you know, 10, 10x is probably the ten times is probably the best value for money, right? Okay, so if you are l like me, who has a lot of like bulls in the past that you are not using and you like to exchange it, only if you want to, because some of my guildies saying that uh, the more expensive one, they still like to use it as it is without uh, burning them into the voucher. But the decision is entirely up to you. Why is it say so? Because it's very, very hard to quantify what is worth it to exchange and what is not. I'll give you an example, right? So if you look at my uh, Cosmic Panther Rush Boost, which is four hours, I get, I can get four hour one buff for hundred uh, percent XP, or I can say, you know, um, this one give me the experience of like also one hour hundred percent, but you know, I have to use probably you know quite a number of four of them to get the same result. Uh, if I want to just like, you know, continuously one after the other. But this one gives you a little bit more because you can have the supply as well, the, ex the rare, rare item find as well as special item find. So if you take a look at what you can exchange, like the Panda Rush will give you five voucher versus the Energy Bar, which is one voucher. So does this worth five times more than the other one? The answer could be yes. I mean, uh, it depends on how you see it. Um, so whether you want to exchange this one or not is is it's just too much to think about, I think. Uh, my, my take is that the high stack is really desirable and I would just strongly recommend you to just take a look at this one. If you want to reduce whatever inventory you have, then you can you can just think about uh, doing this stack, stacking kind of like mechanism. But I was being told that the, the boosts are still working, the old one. Um, yeah, so, so that's one thing. Um, you have, if you have some experience and want to talk a little bit more, share with the team here, with the group here in my YouTube channel, whether you would like to use the voucher exchange for voucher or not for some of these boosts, do feel free to drop a note there. A lot of you know, our friends are reading that as well. Now, the last part of the video is about if you if you are not interested in the whole entire pay for convenience, pay to win, or pay to play kind of like a, you know approach. Can you do something different? Can you do a free to play? Yes, you can actually. So what you can do is that you can purchase something called the Mark One um, um, card, which I, well, unfortunately, prior to this video, I've already uh, exchanged for those cards and see what is inside. So uh, if you, this one has a refresh timer here and it's rather slow, uh, but for 10 cube shard, you can get a Mark One Fortune card that has a chance to drop booster like the experience booster the uh, shield supply boost as well as the you know a combination as well uh, because those are more for rare one um so how do you do it is that for 10 cube shot you can get from terminal you can farm those cube shot so as you play you can get the cube shot you can come to clear uh, and and buy each day well at least each refresh cycle i i think it's about one day long but each refresh cycle you can get 10 cards and to get 10 cards required to have um, 
required to have the 100 quick shot. So like I mentioned, you know, you can farm a quick shot, but now the game is a lot slower. I don't know whether you notice or not. I think this whole design has been tied in a way that, you know, it becomes slower for you to even get the quick sh shot so as to exchange for something free. That's just my conspiracy theory. So with that, then you can get something called quick shot and, um, and each day you can spend 100 of them to get to 10 card that uh, inside will have um, all this booster here. Like I said before, you know, I would strongly recommend only use it when you stack up to 5. Um, so I, when I use this at this point, I probably would not. I'll just wait until the next day comes, I can get some fortune card, and then I'll stack it to 5 and I'll use it then, then because there's no point in hoarding it any, anyway. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and hope you get some idea of what this new um, pay for convenience, pay to win, or pay for pay, pay to play kind of like uh, approach to this game. Uh, like, and uh, as always, do check out the link at the description of the video, more guys for you to watch. So thank you, goodbye.